let us begin our journey into the world of the houses. The house shows where the manifestation of karma will take place. So this is the study of the houses without the influence of the kahas or the planet. The first house. This is also known as the rising sign or the ascendant. This house is all about you, your birth, your incarnation. Remember, we will be working with the Kalpo's chart or the Aries Ascendant chart throughout this journey of the houses to understand the core of each house. The first house representing the energies of the Aries sign, which holds the energies of Mars and the Sun. So the first house represents our soul, seen by the energies of the Sun, our soul has come into this incarnation which is the first indicator of our deepest karmas. Then the energies of Mars show the physical body which we all need to fulfill the desires of this incarnation. Mars has also shown the race which the sperm goes through having to fight to make it to the egg. This is the first war we encounter the need to create the physical body for this incarnation, then the painful process of childbirth is also represented by Mars, which is another struggle to enter this world. By our incarnation, we have won the first battle, the battle of our soul to come and complete all the karmas the soul holds. The first house shows who we are, our true being, the first house shows our physical body from the complexion to how our body looks like. The intellect also represented by the innate nature of our being representing the head and brain area is seen from the first house also. So the association of the sun and Mars shows that if we work on our physical health and our spiritual liberation as these are represented by these two grahas we will fulfill the bulk of our karma here. The soul will have a higher vibrational experience on this plane. With physical health and spiritual strength, there is nothing you cannot achieve and overcome. These are the lessons of the first house. Take care of yourself, nurture yourself, and the rest of the life will be strong because we will be in a position to be able to help others if we are well. So, this is the strongest house in the chart because without the body and without the soul, our incarnation does not happen. This is also something to remember if life is troubling you in any way, start focusing on yourself by working on your physical health and working on your spiritual growth. All else will take care of itself if these two are powerful. The first house holds all our desires for this incarnation. It is the supreme house and the reason the sun needs to be exalted here. The first house is the sunrise period, again showing new beginnings, purity of the spirit and body, represented by the infant. It is another opportunity to begin again. A new day has come. A new life has emerged. Please subscribe to the channel, comment, like and share, I'd be most grateful.